So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past few days. All of these clips are going to be from Revontuli Coast multiplayer and we're starting off here with a level 3 Western Capacali and picking him up as you guys can see he did actually make diamond. Now once again the score that it shows is, is actually below what the diamond requirement is um, because the diamond requirement is actually actually 4.64 but as you can see it shows 4.60 but his score is probably actually around the 4.67 mark because they are actually scored off of their weight and as you will have seen that was actually what his weight was so that's a, always a bit of a, a confusing thing that it always rounds the last decimal to zero on the score but Taking a look at this one, and we also have another level 3 Capacali, which once again did end up making diamond. Again, you can see the score says 4.60, but once again, it's going to be above that diamond requirement with that 4.65 on the weight. So it's probably around 4.65 or 4.66 on the scoring, because there is sometimes a little bit of variation. But this guy is actually above that diamond requirement. Really love finding diamond Western Capacali. They are just such a cool bird really hoping to find some rares for these guys soon i've only got the rare female at the moment and i'd really love to find some rare males now moving on to this next clip and as you can see we're taking a look at a level 3 whitetail now i knew this guy had one of the smaller level 3 racks so i decided to take a bit more of a challenging shot there whilst he was actually led down with the 243 at that longer distance now i knew from watching so many of flinter's videos that the 243 is pretty dead on for 250 meters when actually zeroed for 300 for some reason so that's why i zeroed for 300 and aimed a little bit low and as you'll see it did get into the lung still a bit higher than i would have liked but i was pretty happy with that as just a bit more of a challenging shot even after shooting well over 70 diamond whitetail in the time i've played call of the wild throughout all of my great one grinds and stuff i still get really excited when i see a level 3 whitetail i think they're pretty awesome looking and of course there's always the chance with these guys that they'll have some kind of unique twisted rack or of course that they could be a super rare and i just still find it exciting to see these guys guys they are really really cool and i was really happy that i managed to make that shot and get the harvest so yeah really super happy with that now moving on to the first of a few clips of some different ptarmigans i actually had some pretty good luck over the past few days with ptarmigans and we're starting off here with a level one white plumage type willow ptarmigan now this is actually a rare for the willow ptarmigan white as a plumage type is also rare for the rock ptarmigan so i was pretty excited to actually find one of these guys in the live game i did have a white male ptarmigan during the early access but i hadn't actually seen one in the live game so i was really excited to find this and as you can see quite the tracking distance of 2.25 kilometers i was really really happy that i actually managed to track this guy down and then finally actually take him out and it was pretty cool the way he was you know on the ground and then flew over the top of me like that really quite awesome and these guys are just so so beautiful i think they are absolutely stunning looking with that pure white plumage and then of course the little red eyebrows now i still find it odd that these are a rare because of course in real life this is just what they look like during the winter this is their winter plumage so i guess in game it's just like it's rare because they're early to be in their winter plumage based off of the the conditions on the map but i still find it a little bit odd but i'm not going to complain because i like having these guys in the trophy lodge now sticking with rare willow ptarmigan i once again found a track of a white male willow ptarmigan this time it was a max weight track and i spent quite a while following it unfortunately it ended up being a very small male for that weight estimate but still a really nice size gold at 735.40 i was really hoping that this could have been a super rare when i picked up on the track but once again, I'm just happy to get a rare of this size to put into the trophy lodge. A really, really beautiful looking bird. And, you know, that tracking distance of 4.12 kilometers. Yeah, this one was a pain to track, but I was, again, it was really, really happy that I actually managed to find him. And even though it wasn't a level three, this guy is going to look great in the trophy lodge. Also quite happy that I managed to get a middle neck shot there with the shotgun. So yeah, really happy with that. 
Now, last night as I was running around the map once again, looking for rares and diamonds, I ended up having a level 3 ptarmigan fly over the top of me. I didn't have my shotgun on me, but I did have a tent. So quickly put the tent down, grabbed the shotgun, started to track it, and then this is what happened. This beautiful level 3 ptarmigan actually ended up fleeing back towards me, flies right over the top of me, and I managed to get him there in the one shot. That was about as perfect as you can, uh, as you can hope for when tracking one of these guys so yeah i was really excited about this now you guys will have seen me get a diamond one of these in a previous video since then i'd had a troll so i was really hoping this guy would make it and he actually does at 781.30 and again really quite happy with the shot on this guy actually hitting the heart and you can see not a particularly long track, 826.51 meters. And like I said, that was just because he flew over the top of me and I had the 243 equipped rather than a shotgun and the 22. So I had to quickly put the tent down, grab the shotgun and then track him down. But thankfully it didn't take very long. And then he just obliged perfectly flying over the top of me like that. I absolutely love getting the diamond ptarmigan. They just seem a little bit more elusive to get. So I'm super happy with that. And still sticking with Diamond Ptarmigan, but switching over to the other species, I ended up finding this, a level 3 Rock Ptarmigan. And as you guys will know, this was one of the species that I still needed to tick off the list in my sort of goal of trying to get every diamond in the game again. So really happy to see a level 3. And this guy is a diamond at 727. But I can tell you guys, this wasn't actually my first level 3. Unfortunately, my first level 3, I found it, it ended up being a max weight, bicolour rock ptarmigan diamond. And then I went to do my uh, 5 minutes previous recording, and my uh, my NVIDIA shadow play had basically switched itself off. So I got no footage of it, and I was really gutted. So I spent quite a while trying to get another one so that I could put this in a video alongside the image of, that I'm going to show of the other one in my trophy lodge. So I was really excited to find this. Again, it's a different plumage type as well, being a molting. The first one I got was actually a bicolour, but that was the first one I got on footage. So I was really happy to get that one as well. But here is the, the first diamond rock ptarmigan i ever shot a bicolor male he was max weight and he's a 735.6 so a huge one and i was so disappointed that my shadow play just had switched itself off my uh, laptop had done an update and i guess it just messed with the settings and switched it off and i was so gutted because you know one of these guys flies over the overhead and you've only got a few seconds to make the shot so shadow play is really important for those situations and yeah i was kind of gutted about that but at least you guys got to see me take the second one and that sort of worked in the in the video so yeah at least that was there but sticking with level 3 birds, and as you will see, once again, whilst out hunting for rare ducks, I ended up with yet another diamond Eurasian teal. Never going to complain about getting diamond Eurasian teal. You guys know I love these. They are so, so beautiful. In my opinion, easily one of the most beautiful animal models in game. They are just gorgeous. Now, sticking with Eurasian teal, I found something pretty cool. Once again, multiplayer duck hunting, and I noticed that this female looked very very different now i had seen a picture of a leucistic female but i wasn't sure if i'd actually be able to recognize it when they were actually sort of out and alive because the image wasn't exactly very clear but when i saw this one it was so obvious that this one was different quite a yellowish color to it or sort of a beigey color and upon closer inspection it only got more beautiful because as you will see on the wing feathers when the light hits them right there's sort of an electric blue sort of color there that shows through which against those again sort of yellowish light brown beigey color feathers just looks incredible what a stunning stunning bird a leucistic female eurasian teal now i'd seen pictures like really good quality pictures of the leucistic males but i hadn't seen really any sort of good footage or pictures of a leucistic female so when i saw this and you know i saw one in game for the first time i was super excited and like i said some really stunning coloration in this female i think they the leucistics are just really really pretty you've got all of those different shades of like i said sort of yellow and beige and browns white wing feathers 
feathers and then of course the those beautiful sort of wing feathers with the with the blue on just an incredible looking bird and again one that i'm really really happy to add to the trophy lodge that was a really cool find only a few minutes later in the same session this happened. This is my first ever level 3 Eurasian Widgeon and I was so incredibly excited as this was the last of the new duck species that I actually needed a diamond for and these guys just seem incredibly rare to see level 3s of. I have seen hundreds of these guys at this point and this is the first trophy I have come across and a pretty big one there with a 947 score when diamond is 905. I don't know if that's max weight at 0.95 kgs it may very well be because that's such a high score but i'm not entirely sure i couldn't find a def uh, definite answer on that anywhere but either way finally a diamond eurasian widgeon and i've had such poor luck i haven't had any rares for these guys and like i said this is my first level three and i just thought that you know maybe it was going to take forever to get any trophies of these guys for the lodge and I'm just so, so pleased I finally managed to get a diamond one. I've seen some beautiful rares for these guys. So I'll definitely keep hunting the ducks, hoping for more rares. But yeah, now I have all of the diamonds of the new duck species. So only two more diamonds I need off of this map being the grey lag goose and the mountain hare. So hopefully we can get those fairly soon. Now, sticking with duck hunting, I ended up getting a couple duplicate rares that you guys will have seen in previous videos if you've been uh, watching any of the, the previous videos on the channel. So here we have a leucistic male golden eye that somehow I managed to get a heart shot on. I seem to have made a lot of like heart and neck shots on these smaller, smaller creatures recently and maybe it's just because of hunting them more that I'm getting better with my shot placement. But again, I get excited to find these, these rares of the new species because they all look amazing. Like this is a stunning looking bird. So I was really happy to actually get another one of those because he will find a place in the trophy lodge. And again, set, set up in multiplayer, seeing what ducks were going to come in, if any rares or diamonds would come in. And once again, I noticed a very pale looking female tufted duck. So I knew that that must be a cream and we're going to take her out now as well. And yeah, I would like to see some different rares for the Tufted Duck. This is my second rare for them, which again, both of them have been cream females. I've seen Leucistic. I've even seen Albino Tufted Ducks posted. I'd love to find some of those. But in the meantime, I'm just happy to be getting any kinds of trophies. And it's so funny that I had one of these in early access. I didn't know it was a rare and now I've had two of them in the live game. These are definitely a rare though. I have been hunting literally hundreds and hundreds of ducks, if not thousands, between different multiplayer servers and I've only seen a couple of these so they're definitely properly rare and once again she'll find a place in the trophy lodge. Now, for the last couple of clips of this video, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of raccoon dogs. Now, I have been hunting the raccoon dogs quite hard in search of mainly rares. I have seen some amazing looking piebalds for these guys posted. I've seen albinos for them posted and I knew that there was also dark brown and orange as a couple of rare variations. So I've been spending a lot of time in areas where there are raccoon dogs and I had this level 9 actually run out in front of me across the road. And again, I didn't actually have the correct weapon equipped, so put down the tent, grabbed the 243, tracked him down and as you will see, managed to drop him there with the 243. I absolutely love finding legendaries for these guys. It just feels so incredibly exciting. And I was pretty confident this wasn't the same fur type as my first diamond little bit of panic there because it didn't actually let me pick it up straight away there was a bit of uh, a bit of lag there but i did actually manage to pick it up and it's a 9.30 gray fur type diamond raccoon dog so my first diamond raccoon dog was a black white fur type and now i've got a diamond gray so so cool there's just something about the raccoon dogs that feels really I don't know, really rare and special when you find a trophy for one of these. Maybe that's just me, but you know, the first level 9 I ever saw, I was shaking really hard. And when I saw the level 9 pop up for this guy, it was similar vibes of excitement. So that was really, really awesome. Now for the final clip of this video is a bit of an interesting one. 
once again, I said I was looking for rares for the raccoon dogs. Well, picking up all the tracks I can, all the disturbed vegetation, and I picked up the track of an orange male raccoon dog. Now, I knew this was a rare. I'd, you know, I'd heard of people saying that this was a rare fur type for them, but I don't think I'd actually seen one posted, and I had no idea what I was looking for. So I tracked it down to this little group of raccoon dogs that you can see running away, and I was checking on the track to see is that the, the correct one that I'm looking at, and sure enough it was. So we have a level four orange raccoon dog in front of us. Now out in the in the light a bit more, you can see the very sort of definitely orangey color coat on this beauty. These guys are actually really gorgeous. It's just an unusual rare. You expect your albinos, melanistics, piebalds, but something like an orange I was not expecting. But as he sort of stands there looking alert, I managed to get a chest shot on him with the 243 and it just completely knocked him straight over. Now, upon closer inspection, you can see that orange colour so, so much more clearly. They really are a beautiful, beautiful orangey tone. Just a gorgeous looking animal. And picking him up, you can see 1.22 kilometre track distance from the initial track I found. That is a gorgeous looking rare. What a beauty. That shot was probably a bit higher than I would have liked, but it went through the neck and into the lung. So that's two vitals there that meant I got full score. And he's only a level four, so it's only a silver. But I'm just super happy to have a rare for these guys now in the Trophy Lodge. I really, really would like to find an albino and the piebalds. And I kind of like would like to find a dark brown as well, just because it's, again, a bit more of an unusual rare. So I think one of those would be interesting to see. But yeah, what a stunning looking raccoon dog. Like I said, very, very obviously orange colour, which is just really, really cool. You hear orange as a fur type and it's, you know, you wonder what it's going to look like. But you can really see the tones of the, the orange colour in the fur and I think it looks really beautiful. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Some new trophies for me in this, and I was so excited to share some of these with you. Um, you know, the orange raccoon dog, the diamond rock ptarmigans, the diamond widgeon, the, the leucistic teal, some just really cool animals that I was super excited to find. And of course, the, the other diamonds as well, the white tail, the capicales. It's been a really good couple of days, and hopefully... Hopefully there's only more to come as I keep going through through multiplayers looking for more rares and more diamonds to put into the trophy lodge. There's still an awful lot of rares and, you know, cool diamonds and stuff to get off of this map potentially. So I'm definitely going to keep hunting for them. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you for all of your support as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.